This edition of Mac Voices is brought to you by Smile, the makers of the brand new PDF Pen 6, PDF Pen Pro 6, and PDF Pen for iPad and PDF Pen for iPhone. Find out more about all the flavors of PDF Pen at smilesoftware.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner, and this is Mac Voices at NAB in Las Vegas. We're in the Pure Blend Software booth talking to Cliff. 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 Well, Cliff, Pure Blend. I, I got to do it again. Okay. Cliff, Pure Blend Movie Slate. Right. Cliff, Pure Blend Movie Slate. Take three, two, one. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at NAB in Las Vegas. I'm in the Pure Blend Software uh, booth talking to Cliff about Movie Slate. You can probably tell that by the graphic behind us. Cliff, it's great to have you. Oh, thank you very much. Good to be here. Cliff, I own Movie Slate. I use Movie Slate. I love it, but I will confess I'm probably using about 10% of what it's really capable of. But it's a, it's a great little app, and it's not even a little app anymore. But it's one of those things like, well, why would I ever invest in one of the physical clappers when I have this? <laughs> well, I guess it's a, it suppose I, it, sorry, suppose it depends upon what you're using Movie Slate for. So Movie Slate, yes, can be used as a clapper board. Uh, and a lot of people use that as a slate, an alternative to say $1,100 slate. But what most people use it for these days is for logging, for shot logging. And it's actually the reason I created the app. Um, way back when I had an ad agency and I was shooting a lot of video and I was doing a lot of interviews with people just like this. But I was using two cameras and we were doing you know two to three hour interviews and I was swimming in footage. And I needed a way to figure out what was the good stuff and what was the bad stuff. So I, w I started experimenting with, with shot logs. And I initially started with databases and spreadsheets on MacBook Pros. And it was kind of a pain in the ass. And, it, and candidly, it, it was disruptive on set. It, it, uh, the people I was interviewed were interviewing were more focused on me taking my notes than they were on what we were talking about. So when the iPhone came out, I'm a developer, um, I thought, you know what? this might be a great solution. Maybe I can do this and I can create a little app that would remember the time code for me and I could enter some quick notes and I would know then later what was a, what was a good thing that was said and what was a, and some stuff that was maybe not so interested. And I wouldn't have to review my footage again before I ingested it. I would know just the footage to ingest. It saved me a ton of time in post. So that's why I developed the app initially. And I made it, I sort of made it look like a slate basically so that it hid the fact from people that it was really a database because no one wants to enter information into a database, but they love the idea of a slate. So essentially, I mean, that's what most people I think use it for today is for shot logging. And at the end of the day, there's tons of formats that we export to. So we export to Final Cut Pro, Avid Media Composer, Adobe Prelude and, and Premiere as well as a bunch of other formats, a bunch of other report formats that we've created on our own. So this is one of those situations where you started out making something just for you and it's turned into a commercial product and a pretty important commercial product. Well, you know, I, I have to credit all of our users for that. Um, one of the things that happened is I put it out there on a lark, hoping it might help somebody else, and we got a ton of feedback from people. And the feedback was extremely helpful. Uh, uh, I mean, I have to single out a specific person that really helped us. Is there, I got a, a phone call one day from a fella in Los Angeles named Joe Foglia. And he said, I'm a production sound mixer on an ABC show called Castle. And we really like what you've done with Movie Slate. And it's close to what we want, but it'd be so much better if it did this, 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 and this. And why don't you come down and hang out on the set with us for a while and see what our workflow is like. And I'll give you some suggestions on how to make it better. And we did, and lo and behold, it just kept getting better and better. And a lot of his friends wrote to us and told us other suggestions, and there you are. Now, let's be fair. There, there are a couple movie slide app applications out there. Right. This is the big kahuna. This is the one, though, that does a lot more. And that's why I wanted to ask you to make sure we, we covered that. Okay. It's not just a pretty picture. That's true. And, and that's that's sort of, a, I think, a key feature here, a key point, right. that if you want a, a pretty picture, sure, you can go somewhere and spend 99 cents. Right. This one's a little more expensive, but it does so much more. Yeah, one of the things we're trying to do is get it to be seamless and work into your workflow and communicate with devices you've already got. So one of the first feature requests that we got 
was ti about time code. People really needed to have frame accurate time code and they needed us to sync up with uh, sound recorders and with cameras and, and time code generators and all kinds of other external devices. So one of the great things that happened along the way is that we were contacted by a company out of the UK called Timecode Systems. And they had this revolutionary new timecode system where they could broadcast timecode over Wi-Fi. And all of a sudden, Movie Slate could have frame accurate timecode all the time wirelessly. And it was just, it, it changed the game for us. All of a sudden we were a professional tool then. <laughs> the, the other thing that happened is that uh, we started hearing from people like Joe Foglia, who were in different departments on on set. And you know, as an independent filmmaker, I didn't have departments. I was all the departments. And so, one of the other things that we've started to do is try and build Movie Slate for use by different departments. So, to to that end, we developed a sound department plugin that works for just the sound guys. We're working right now on a script supervisor plugin that's just for the script supers. Uh, there's We've done a collaboration with Red and with a number of other camera manufacturers where the movie slate actually talks to the cameras and you can remote control cameras right from the app. And we can gather all the metadata from the cameras and export that in all of our reports. Um, we're also working on um, all kinds of other plugins for other departments. For instance, we're gonna do some plugins for directors and for producers so that they'll know you know, how many pages have we shot today? Are we get ahead of schedule, behind schedule, what's going on, that sort of thing. So are, are all these plugins you're talking about, are they in-app purchases for Movie Slate? That's correct, yeah. Uh, and the reason we did that, rather than do like sort of one price for the app, is that people hate paying for stuff that they're never gonna use. So to hold the price of the app down, we thought, well, we'll just, you know, for that, if you need time code and you need time code sync, that's one plugin, if you don't need it, don't pay for it, and, and we keep the price low. And I love the idea that you continue to upgrade it. I like the idea of the of, of the in-app purchases. You're right, I, I buy what I need, right. but it also means that the time I invest in learning this tool and implementing it in my workflow doesn't, d doesn't get wasted if you don't keep it up and I have to go somewhere else. You constantly keep it up and you get paid for it, and that, that's, that's an important part for everybody. We do, yeah. We get paid for it in two ways. One is, of course, through in-app purchases and new customers coming in and purchasing the app. But we also get paid by sometimes other manufacturers, some of our partners will pay us to add new features on their behalf. So that incents us to keep the app always fresh, always updated. So you don't have to worry about us going away and, and the app is abandoned. Well, after hearing all this, I think I've just revised my percentage. I think I'm only losing probably about 5% of it, but that's all right. You know, we've danced around the topic a little bit. What is the price of uh, Movie Slate? And can you give us just a rough idea of what some of the plugins might go for? Sure, yeah. Uh, the base price for Movie Slate is $25 in the App Store, 25 US. And then we have, we currently have three plugins. The Timecode Sync plugin, which is $50. All the plugins are $50 a piece. And Timecode Sync lets you receive and send time code, uh, LTC time code. So that's audio time code that's being sent through the headphone jack on the iPad. Uh, it also allows you to connect to certain cameras. Uh, some of those features are coming a little bit later in the year. And it also lets you connect to the time code buddy system to get the frame accurate wireless time code. Uh, then we've got the sound department plug-in which is really set up for just uh, production sound mixers who want to generate really, really attractive, easy to read sound reports that post-production loves. And then the third plugin we just released is a multicam plugin. And that's really designed for um, unscripted productions such as reality shows, where you've got maybe you know, anywhere from four to 26 cameras that you need to log shots for. It allows one person with Movie Slate to log shots for all of those cameras at one time. Wow. <laughs> a time code, uh, time code logging for all, all well, those cameras? It's, it's not only time code logging, but it's note logging. So for instance, what, what might happen is, let's say that um, you're filming a reality show and Sally slaps Steve, <laughs> okay? So you might add a note, Sally slaps Steve. and Using Movie Slate, you can indicate which cameras and which sound recorders got that coverage. So later in post, they can go search for Sally Slap Steve, 
find that shot, say, do, you know, do we have media for that shot? Which media, where can we find the media? What, what, uh, what role is it on and what's the file name for that media? And which, do we have audio for that shot as well? Yeah, there's something else I've got to go and look at. I, I don't do anything nearly that sophisticated, but just the capabilities, you know, they can be bent and twisted to your own production methods or styles, so. Right. And then there's a, a new thing, I'm gonna give you a scoop. There's a new thing that we're working on, which is Movie Slate Cloud. So we're working on a cloud-based service so that all this metadata could be uploaded to the cloud and lots of new kinds of reports can be generated from the cloud, as well as sharing all the metadata between the departments. So if you've got someone working in camera, someone working in script, someone working in sound, and they are all generating these notes and all of this shot metadata for a, a single production, all of that gets merged together on the cloud. And from there, post-production can run all kinds of new reports that we're talking about generating. And studios will be able to download all that data and input, ingest it into their internal systems. So this is going to be, become the hub of production. Well, we hope so. <laughs> uh, obviously, you go to the App Store to pick it up, but is there a website where they can learn more about this? Yes, uh, it's movieslate.com, but there's a dash between movie and slate. So movie-slate.com. Cliff, thank you so much. It's been very interesting. I've learned a lot about it that I didn't even didn't know it could do, and I use it. So, thanks so much. Thanks so much. Folks, we'll have more from NAB in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, app.net, Google+, Facebook, and for more Apple, Mac, and tech-related shows, including Mac Voices, Mac Notables, the Mac Jury, and the Mac Voices Briefing. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com.